dear student in this section we will discuss about displacement velocity and acceleration diagram against the cam rotation that is theta the displacement diagrams is drawn as below initially draw a semicircle on the follower stroke as diameter second divide the semicircle into any number of equal parts say 8 divide the angular displacement of the cam during out stroke and return stroke into the same number of equal parts the displacement diagram is obtained by projecting the points as shown in figure the velocity and acceleration diagrams are shown below the displacement diagram since the follower moves with a simple harmonic motion therefore the velocity diagram consists of a sine curve and the acceleration diagram is a cosine curve as you can see from the figure velocity of the follower is zero at the beginning and at the end of its stroke and increases gradually to a maximum at midpoint on the other hand the acceleration of the follower is maximum at the beginning and at the end of the stroke and diminishes to zero at mid stroke in the second profile as uniform acceleration and retardation the displacement diagram is drawn as follows divide the angular displacement of the cam during out stroke that is theta 0 into any number of parts say 8 and draw vertical lines through these points as shown in figure divide the stroke of the follower s into the same number of equal even parts what we have divided theta 0 as join a a to intersect the vertical line through point 1 at b similarly obtain the other points c and d etc as shown in figure now join the points to obtain the parabolic curve for the out stroke of the follower in the similar way as discussed above the displacement diagram for the follower during the return stroke may also be drawn since the acceleration and retardation are uniform therefore the velocity varies directly with the time and the velocity diagram is as shown in figure wherein the velocity is maximum at the mid stroke during outward as well as return stroke if you can look at the acceleration diagram it is observed that the acceleration during the first half of the outward stroke there is uniform acceleration and during the second half of out stroke there is uniform retardation thus the maximum velocity of the follower is reach after the time t0 by 2 and tr by 2 during outward and return stroke respectively in the third cycloidal motion the displacement diagram is drawn as discussed below draw a circle of radius s upon 2 pi with a as a center next divide the circle into any number of equal even parts say 6 project this points horizontally on the vertical center line of the circle these points are shown by a dash and b dash in the figure divide the angular displacement of the cam during out stroke into the same number of equal even parts as the circle is divided draw vertical lines through these points join ab 
which intersect the vertical line through three dash at C. From A dash, draw a line parallel to AB intersecting the vertical lines through one dash and two dash at A and B respectively. Similarly, from B dash, draw a line parallel to AB intersecting the vertical lines through 4 dash and 5 dash at D and E respectively. Finally, join all the points capital A, A, B, C, D, E and capital B so as to get the displacement diagram for cycloidal motion. If you look at the velocity diagram, you can see the velocity is maximum at theta 0 by 2 and the acceleration is maximum at theta 0 by 4 intervals of cam rotation. Thank you.